Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, we're going to be talking about Python's built-in min function. By the end of this video, you should have a great understanding of how to use this function within your Python programs. For this video, we're going to be using the Python console. If you're using PyCharm, again, you can come down to the bottom left-hand corner, click Python console. But if you're not using PyCharm, you can open up your terminal, come in here and type in Python, and you'll be able to run all the same commands that we're running within this video. So the Python min function is a really easy function to understand. All it's going to do is return some minimum value within some iterable. So if we had, let's just write some unordered list here and we'll throw in like 99, right? So we have a, and then we have a list with a bunch of integer values stored into a. So if we ran the minimum function against a, all it's going to do is return the minimum value within this list. Now it doesn't matter where it is, it's going to iterate through the whole thing and find our minimum value. Now we can use the minimum function against strings. So instead of having integers in here, we could throw in random characters like E, we'll do a G, and if we threw in an S, ran this against the min function, and now you'll see that we get E because E comes before G and S. Now where this starts to get a little bit more interesting is when we start using names. So if we do B equals, and I already typed one out before the video, and we had Jill, Tim, and Robert. Now, what do you think is gonna happen if we run the min function against B? So if we run this against B, it's actually gonna return Jill because when this list is in alphabetical order, Jill is the lowest value. So if you think about it, J comes before T and R. So if we were to add a value in here, let's say Jack, now, if we ran the min function against this, you'll see that we get Jack instead of Jill because Jack is gonna come before Jill when it's alphabetically ordered. So that's it for this function. It should be pretty easy to understand, but as always, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.